Hi, I'm Rowan from HowToSingForYourLife.com. Today's video is all about how to sing a song quickly and solidly so you get to know it and learn it so that you can perform it tomorrow. So if you have a song that you have to do for an audition or your band has just sent you a song that you need to work on that you need to be rehearsing tomorrow and you don't know it at all or maybe it's a song you know a little bit but you've got to perform it at a gig tomorrow and you really need to shore it up so that you can perform it confidently. This video is for you. Now the word of the day for this video is staccato. Staccato is just uh, the Italian music word for detached. And the reason why this is useful to know, it's an important point, um, is that if you learn a song by going through first of all the melody staccato, so you just sing it with really detached notes instead of something smoother, then you actually get to know precisely which notes you know and which you're wavering on. Because you've only got one second, one chance to get that note as you hit it in a short note, whereas if you were singing it in a longer smooth note you might slur up to the note and there would be some ambiguity there where you're not quite sure which note you were really aiming for in the first place. Place. So let me give you an example. So let's just give that a go. That's three lines there. So we've got in the house of fun, you can tread on everyone, yeah, open all the doors. Okay, so we've had that, and I might not be sure about what that slurry sound was in the, the low note area, so I might want to go through that and be really sure that um, I'm aware of my note. So if I were doing that, I would go back to singing this staccato. Now one thing I could do if I'm really unsure, or if I feel that some of the sounds in um, the actual lyrics are stopping me from singing the note clearly as well, the best way is to take it right back to singing just a vowel sound. So instead of singing the lyrics, I can just sing this to R or to E, whichever, and keep that as a staccato note. So for example, the phrase in the house of fun would then suddenly become so that's basically what I'm doing. So I can go back to singing it with the lyrics, but still keep it staccato. In the house of fun, you can tread on everyone, yeah, open all the doors, let the hallways overrun, yeah. Now I know that that bit goes that way, but that's something that I could get lost on as well when I'm singing it longer, in a longer way, in a more fluid way. Um, so that's something that's really useful to make sure I know exactly what my notes are. If I can't sing it staccato, if I'm getting lost as to what the notes are, I have to go back, listen to it again, or perhaps go to the piano, find the note on the piano, or on a keyboard, and prompt myself for the note when I'm not sure. Then I can come back to singing it with the lyrics and with a full kind of fluid um, way of singing it. So I can go back to In the house of fun, you can tread on everyone, yeah, open all the doors, let the hallways overrun, yeah, in the house of fun, and so on. So that's how you do it, that's what you have to do. So, um, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, as usual, I'm asking you to leave a comment in the box below. Um, there is a box below if you search for it, scroll down. Um, and you can tell me what things are useful about the videos that you've seen so far, or if there's something else that you want to see in the next video, then let me know and I will implement that as soon as I can. So, just as a little reminder, today's video was brought to you by the word staccato. What did it mean? It meant detached. So that's a new word for you today, for your music vocabulary. Um, so I hope that that's helpful and I hope you have a fantastic week. Um, when you're watching this video, I shall be off in London enjoying my birthday. So um, I guess it's happy birthday to me. Um, have a great week. Thanks for watching.